Happy quarantine. I'm still here. I'm still here. <laughs> hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It is me, of course, Lady with the Tattoos. Before we get into this video, go ahead and subscribe because I'm dropping some big gems today, okay? So let me give you a second. Okay. Now that you are subscribed, let's get into this video. Who I am, first of all, I am 27. I'm a hairstylist here in Baltimore, Maryland. I've been a licensed cosmetologist since 2011. I've been doing hair since I was in the fifth grade. I started doing hair by high school. I took it very serious. I went to um, a trade school in high school and I got my license when I graduated. And you know, it, the road has been bumpy throughout. Whether you're at a slow pace or your business isn't picking up or you're a, a new hair student, fresh out of hair school, I'm gonna be sharing some tips with you that I have used along the way. Some tips that I wish I would have used like a long time ago. And you know, if you see me just occasionally looking down, it's because I'm reading my notes. All right, so my first tip that I have is do not give up and keep going. When I say it's going to get to a point where you're gonna be discouraged, you're gonna feel like nothing is working, you're gonna feel like I'm not getting any clients, like nothing, nothing, nothing. So I just wanna let you know like, do not give up. I wish I would have had this advice a long time ago because I have given up in the past. When I tell you I have given up, like I stopped doing hair for like two, three years, got me a regular job. I was miserable. I knew that's not what I wanted to do. But at the time, my hair business was not going the way I wanted it to. So I just had to do what I had to do. With me kind of knowing now how things would be, I wouldn't have gave up because I feel like I would have been way further than what I am now. My next advice is always perfect your craft. You always, like there's always gonna be new things coming out, new techniques, um, popular styles. You always want to educate yourself. Even if you don't have a lot of clientele or you wanna try something new, go ahead and get you a model get you somebody a sister a friend a, a close neighbor I'm like hey um because I'm, I'm trying to learn a hairstyle do you mind being a model like no one's going to say no to a free hairstyle i'm telling you you're going to get somebody promote yourself on all platforms and when i say promote yourself on all platforms i mean twitter facebook instagram TikTok, YouTube, whatever is out there. Like at first I was only using Instagram to promote my hair business. And then I realized like, I started getting more clients using Facebook too. So now I use both of those like, and then there's basically when you post on Instagram, you can just link it to your Facebook so that it'll post to both of them. So you don't even have to like, switch over to this page, do that, switch over to that page and do that. Just promote everything on all platforms keep business cards business cards go a long freaking way i have given out hundreds hundreds of business cards people have contacted me from getting business cards when i'm just in the salon doing my client's hair and people walk past they take a business card keep them in your wallet keep them in your car keep them nearby you know because like me right now i just did my hair and when i go to the store or something someone's going to ask me about my hair and then you know boom a potential client and i'm going to give them a card so always keep cards on you always promote promote and I don't even care if you get on people nerves from promoting. So what? They were they probably weren't buying anything from you anyway. They probably weren't a customer. So if they unfollow, they'll follow. Oh well, they weren't supporting you anyway. Another good thing that I did that um started working for me is using hashtags underneath my pictures. So say for instance you live in Atlanta and you braid most of the time you want to use hashtags relatable to that so that people can find you 
I have got a lot of customers off a of hashtag. If you're from Atlanta, basically you could do hashtag Atlanta braider, hashtag Atlanta hairstylist, hashtag braiders in Atlanta. Just use hashtags so that people can find you. And I'm going to show you in a clip some hashtags I use now. I am a hairstylist here in Baltimore, Maryland, but I get a lot of clients from DC and Virginia using the Knotless Braid DMV hashtag or DMV braider and all the other stuff. So a lot of my top, top paying and like loyal customers come from DC and Virginia and they have found me from hashtags. And I'm gonna show you how hashtags can change your whole entire life. Like hashtags have been lit for me since I started using them. And I'm just gonna show you. Like I'm on some of the um, top pages for hashtags, like four or five of my pictures is right on the top post on the thing. And so always use it, try it. I'm telling you, it works, okay? Use you some hashtags. <laughs> Be professional, it goes a long way. You're gonna get a lot of your clients as well from word of mouth. So be professional and also know in between of being being in between being professional that you cannot please everybody. You're going to run across some people who are going to make you want to reconsider even doing hair anymore. They're going to give you a hard time. You're going to have crazy situations as hairstylists. All can tell you we've had crazy situations and we're just like, wow. But trust me, handle it in the most professional way way ever in this world of 2020 people screenshot and they spin the narrative so please don't cuss it cuss people out don't do it do not cuss people out do not say crazy things because they will screenshot it and show it to people and make it sound like you're this horrible person and also something else that i saw do not record a crazy situation with you and your clients. I'm telling you, this one lady did it and she is getting the worst backlash ever. Be professional as possible. Personally, me working in bars and restaurants, I have learned how to deal with angry people and it's not easy and it's not fun, but trust me, it's the best way to handle a situation. One thing I could say if you're a new stylist, get on a commission get a uh, find a commission based salon that probably be your best option until you can afford booth rent now commission based the owner would basically take a certain percent of the services that you make so if you do box braids for a hundred dollars and y'all have a 60 40 thing going on then they will split that basically you won't owe money though like if you don't make nothing you don't owe nothing you feel what i'm saying so it's the best option when you really aren't getting the traffic that you want now when you get to a point where you're getting the traffic that you want booth rent you get to keep all of your money you just pay your booth rent every week and and you know that that for me has been the best um the best option i don't think i would have been happy just sitting on commission all my life i pretty i pretty much sure i would have been upset and probably quit again <laughs> yeah until you come to a point that you're um steady enough for booth rent go ahead and find your commission-based salon find you a salon that fits you that'll fit your clientele now if you know you're doing a lot of older clients or younger clients you do have to be better you have you do have to consider the environment that you're working in also with booth rent and commission like if you have to, the hair thing is slow for you and you do have to pick up another job you know do both i did for a while i worked my regular you know job full time then um once i started picking up i moved to part time and then i slowly transitioned into being a full-time hairstylist now I, the bills had to get paid so i had to go ahead and get me a job so you know thug it out thug it out until you get to where you want to be that's all you got to do honey all you got to do Next thing is, because people always get into the hype of this, followers do not mean 
a thing okay i don't care what nobody said followers do not mean like just because someone has 24k or something that does not mean they're you know booked all the way up it does not mean that in most cases i have 2000 and like 50 something followers on my hair page and i'm always booked even during slow seasons like last summer i i was booked like booked and busy just because one has a bunch of followers it does not mean they have a bunch of clientele do not be fooled off the hype doesn't mean they have a bunch of money do not be fooled off the hype okay you guys like let me tell you something i don't just use instagram to promote my business i don't just use facebook to promote my business i still pass out cards i still get a lot of recommendations from clients so don't automatically think that yes followers can um, turn into potential customers but half of the time some of them are just watching you some of them just like your content and yeah so speaking on social media always try to take amazing pictures always try to take some great great pictures like right now I got my window wide open I'm standing in front of my window and it's creating all this natural light that you're actually seeing right now. So if you can't like afford a ring light right now or no type of good lighting, go ahead, go outside and take pictures and take so many different angles, take videos, take slow mos and you don't even have to post them all at once. Let's say you don't have a big clientele then you can post this picture one day, this angle one day, this angle another day, oh, this video another day, you know, spread it out so that you do have content to put out. So all we try to get clear lighting, crisp, you know, very crisp looks, just, you know, you don't wanna have fuzzy blurry photos where no one can really see your work, take some before and afters, do slideshows, anything okay try 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 that is another tip try okay do something it's better than doing nothing period another thing that i had was don't set yourself up and what i mean by don't set yourself up is do not take a service that you're not comfortable with doing um, do not take a service that you've never done before. Like, take someone's money. Now, if they're a model and you're saying, hey, I've never done this style before, I want to try it, that's different. As, as long as you, you know, put that disclaimer out there. But if somebody come in and they ask for something and you're really not comfortable with doing it, do not. Do not do it. Get your practice in. Do not do it. You will set yourself up for failure. Don't, 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 don't. Okay. Another tip is have a vision. Have a vision. Uh, what do you exactly want to do? Do you want to just be a braider? Do you want to just do silk presses? Do you want to do haircuts? Do you want to um, make wigs? Do sew-ins? Like, do you want to be an all-around stylist? Have a vision for yourself. Have a whole vision for yourself. Plan ahead. Promote ahead. And last but not least, the last tip of advice that I could give you is track everything. Everything you spend your money on. Have receipts. Keep receipts. Record. You're going to need that for taxes and other situations. And also save. Save, 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 save. In the past i did not save and it definitely bit me in the future because it's just like dang why did i blow that money being a hairstylist you come across so much money so fast but you can blow it as fast as you get it i'm telling you when you've had a lit little day or something like that and you leave out the salon with maybe 400 to a thousand dollars a day and you just think you popping and you go blow that money because you because you like damn i got a lit day tomorrow and i'm gonna make this money back not thinking like oh if you would have held on to your money you would have doubled it you blow it all like it's so easy to blow money in this industry i'm telling you people blow money all the time that's why i said don't believe the hype y'all do not believe the hype People, be, they show you one thing, they don't got a dollar in their pocket. I'm telling you, do not believe the hype. Save, 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 okay? Don't make crazy financial decisions if you know, if you know for a fact it's not a smart decision. You know what's best for you. You know what's going to work for you. 
listen to yourself. Oh, and I have one more key advice, especially when you first start in here. Do not let your family members take advantage of you. Let me tell you something. When they know that you know how to do hair, they will take advantage of that very quickly. Don't let them treat them just like any old regular customer because the minute you start, oh, you my cousin, I'm gonna look out for you, or da 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 da, they're gonna take that and run with it, y'all. So don't do that. Don't do that, okay? You know, I just wanna say, like, it's not easy. It's not easy. It doesn't happen overnight. And you gotta go for what you want, okay? So no one can do, no one can go hard for your business more than yourself. I hope you enjoyed this advice. I hope I dropped some gems that help you in your future. I really do hope everyone has an amazing and thriving business and career. I love this industry. I don't see myself leaving no time soon. I see myself expanding and I have. I also started a lash line and I'm currently wearing my lashes. These are my lashes, Kylie. They're so cute, so simple. Let me know, like DM me and email me or DM me and just let me know, like, how is it working for you? How is it going? Keep me updated. I hope this is a great help to you. If you have any more questions, you can email me, DM me, leave a comment down below. I will definitely answer you and I will see you in my next video. I'm out.